Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Nikki Uncut. I hope you've all had a great week so far, last week. And then we're jumping into Tuesday this week, and I wanna share my favorites that I've been using a lot the previous week. So this makeup look is all gonna be about the favorites that I'm currently using and loving. And basically, it's all products I pulled from my to-go makeup bag. So those are the products that are on the most like heavy rotation, and it's usually products that I'm like I end up loving. So Without further ado, let's get some makeup on. My skin's prepped and my brows are partially on just so I can get through this tutorial without um, feeling like I have no eyebrows. But speaking of favorites, let's jump into the first favorite. This brow pencil from Kosas, it's the Brow Pop Nano. I have the shade black and these pencils are something else. They're micro, tiny, itty bitty, cute little pencils and you can really get in there and just draw individual brow hairs they're super precise but they're super long wearing so this is still a, a favorite of mine and i have a feeling it's going to be a favorite until it runs out and i buy another one but i actually have a backup one that um i just felt the need to have two so because i like it that much so i have a backup one Okay, so brows, just gonna roughly finish them with my nano pencil. And then let's get into skin right away. I wanna do skin because I have a favorite, a current favorite, hence the name of this video. Um, this is the new Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. So. Fenty Beauty has like the Ease Drop liquid, which I have somewhere over here. Yeah, so they have the original and this is like the same formula from what I've been told, but in a stick form. This is so easy to use and work with. It's fantastic. So for me, since I got this and I actually bought this myself, I did not get this in PR until I went to a Fenty Beauty um, event last week. And it was a blast. What day did I go? I think it was, yeah, it was on a Thursday. And by the way, I have the shade 10 that's been really working well for me. But before I went to that event, I actually filmed a full face of Fenty Beauty for my YouTube channel. If you saw it, let me know in the comments what you think of that look. So I picked this up for that video and fell in love with it then. And then when I went to the event, I got to get a backup for free, um, like NPR basically. So that was even even better. Now I have a backup one, which is awesome because I, I have a feeling I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. You don't get a ton of product with this. Like it's pretty, it's pretty um, small in the ounces. And the way I've been using this all week because it's just so easy. It's so easy to just swipe it on my skin and then blend it out and then I'm done. I'm good to go. And the event that I'm talking about too, I, I posted most of it on my Instagram stories, which, you know, they're now not up anymore. But I think what I'll do is I'll insert some video clips like around here, just so you can check out what I'm talking about. It was a really cool event, like great idea. It was a drive through. So you drive through, I didn't drive through, I walked through it, but you could drive through it in like old cars, like classic cars. They had them all lined up, which is just my kind of event. Like Mitch and I are both classic car fanatics. We love, it's one of the things we bonded on or bonded over when we first started going out was classic cars, like how we both loved classic cars. We both have a classic car and we love going to car shows and all that stuff. So it was a really cool event. Definitely my kind of event, seeing all these awesome cars and stuff. And then they had like a cool, like old school drive up diner vibe where like you drive up or in my case, I walked up and they hand you like a to-go bag. I'll insert photos of all that stuff or videos. And then they had a milkshake station where you could pick out or like get a milkshake like made with like the old school metal dispenser thing that mixes it like really fast. It was just awesome. They did a great job. Got to see a bunch of my friends. Got to see my friend Billy who works for the company. And um, yeah, it was just a great time. It was a blast. So loving the finish. Loving the way this lasts on my skin. Gives really great coverage. It definitely gives like a 
very blurring effect to your skin, which I love, and also hence the name. And I have a little bit of lint on my face. Okay. My base is pretty much done. I think I'm happy with it. Yeah, that looks good. Easy. Also, I didn't mention it, but I'm buffing this on with a Duo Complexion Brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's like an $8 brush. It's phenomenal. So, foundation's done. Now, let's get into my current favorite concealer. This concealer from Tower 28 is fantastic. Like, fantastic. I don't particularly have dry under eyes, but I feel like this is incredible for anyone who does have dry under eyes. The coverage is stunning. It's perfect. And... The way it wears throughout the day is just, it's really nice. I've been loving this found, or this concealer all week and it's been my daily go-to. So the shade that I wear under my eyes is K-Town. And I also just use it to lightly highlight certain areas of my skin because it is a touch lighter than my skin. And now let's get a brush to blend this in. I'm going to use a nice clean little 160 concealer brush from Half Caked. That's fair. And just blend this in. It's just a beautiful formula. And since this is uncut, you're going to see all the blending <laughs> that it takes to get my concealer to look perfect. Okay. I'm going to blend a little bit up to in between my brows. And then let me grab a sponge. I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge I used yesterday and maybe the day before. Just pat the rest of this in. Love it. Love this concealer. Okay, that is on. Now, before I set my under eyes, which, you know, I love to set my under eyes. Um, I'm a powder. I love a nice, smooth, powdered under eye. But before I do that, we're going to get into bronzer. And for bronzer, this week I have been loving and using pretty much daily the cream bronzer from Rose Ink. And it's just, it's a really easy formula. Really super easy. Okay, Bear, you can't see, but Bear is doing something very guilty behind the camera right now. Bear, can you get down from that? He's on a pile of clean towels. I'm just wondering what his plan is. Is he going to take a nap on it? Hey, bear. Okay. All right. He's just acting strange. So I'm going to blend this on with a 106 from BK Beauty. The reason why I've been loving this one too, I mean, I, I loved it when I first got it, when I first tried it for my huge bronzer haul video. That's when I purchased it. The reason why I like it so much is because it's really easy to blend into my skin. It just kind of melts into your skin. So if you want like a quick, easy cream bronzer that you don't have to work hard to blend on your skin and you don't have to like really fuss with it, this is a really great option. It feels very lightweight too at the same time. It doesn't feel like a thick, heavy product on your skin. So pretty. With whatever's left over, I'm just going to kind of blend along the side of my nose.
There's always that one baby hair that just doesn't want to stay off my forehead. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty sure I just got an Amazon delivery, so maybe it's my maybe it's my cup holder for my scooter. It's finally arriving. <laughs> All right, bronzer is looking perfect. Very soft. Very melted into my skin. Now, I have been using this cream blush almost daily since I received it. It's from M Cosmetics. It's their Pillow Plush Blush in the shade Peanut. They only have two shades, which is unfortunate. I feel like they're missing out on uh, just a ton of other shades they could be you know, putting out there. There's Tickled, which I really haven't used much of because it's, it's very much like a, I'm not like a huge mauve blush person on myself. And there's Peanut. So Peanut is like your daily don't mind how dirty it is. I really have been using this every single day, but Peanut's like a really beautiful, simple, pretty much goes with anything type blush. And I'm gonna apply this with a now clean BK Beauty 106. And just get in there. This is kind of like a cross between like a, a powder and a cream blush the way it kind of settles on your skin it has a powdered down finish so it looks really smooth looks really really flawless really airbrushed on your skin and actually i feel like this is a great formula if you have more oily skin and you want a cream blush that's not going to be you know maybe like slipping down your skin throughout the day because your skin's oily i feel like this would be a good option because it does have more of a, a matte finish to it so it's a lot more long lasting than like a typical cream glowy blush and it's just really easy to work with like tap it on and you're done but of course it's all about the brush that you use too the 106 there's a reason why it's my favorite brush from bk beauty it just makes everything like complexion wise makes everything so easy like cream bronzer liquid foundation cream foundation even powders this brush is great for powders as well Okay. I'm feeling like a blush heavy look today. I want like really full looking like youthful cheeks. So really going heavy handed with my blush. And then with whatever's left over, just kind of sweeping it across my nose. And now, now that we're done with the cream face products, we're going to move on to powder. And, you know, I have so many favorite loose powders and just powders in general. I have so, so many favorites that are always on rotation. This one I put back into my to-go makeup bag for this week. And it's just, uh, it never, ever, ever lets me down. It's the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I wear the shade Cupcake under my eyes and also like just in my T-zone. There's something just absolutely magical, magical about this powder. Let me grab a um, powder puff. This is a makeup forever one. I'm gonna dip it in my powder. As always, I just work it into the palm of my hand. I don't like to use the top, I like to use the palm of my hand. But before I apply this, let me blend out any creases that might've happened, which is actually very minimal, which is also surprising because I went very heavy handed with that Tower 28 concealer. So you would think that by the time I go and set it, I'd have a lot more creasing happening, but there was really hardly anything. Okay, time to powder. I'm gonna grab a little bit more for this side. It's like instant airbrushed, instant Paris filter on Instagram to your skin. It really is. It's it's a phenomenal powder. Oh, hi, Bear. Thank you. Okay. Just a little bit in the T-zone. And in any areas, I don't want to have too much shine throughout the day. So between my brows, I like to just mattify this area 
along the side of my nose. I especially like the side of my nose to be matte. I leave the very center, the top center, without powder. And then around my mouth, I like to have a little bit more powder. And I like to be a little bit more matte. Just personal preference. Now that that's on, I got to bring it back to another Fenty product that I absolutely love. It's not a new product. It's been around for a while. But this is just so gorgeous on. I, I just... I love these I love these highlighters. I've loved them for years. I've talked about talked about them for years as well. They've been in my makeup kit for years as well. They're the Kilowatt highlighters and it's always a duo of two different shades. I know they have some that are just singles, but the duos are my favorite where you get two different colors. But the one that I love the most is Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. I just kind of mix the two together. And I just like to swirl it on top of my blush and it's just stunning. I've been wearing this pretty much every single day this week and it goes so well with that shade Peanut from M Cosmetics. It's just healthy, glowy. It's obviously going to add a little bit more pink to my skin because it is a more pink based highlighter. But I just am obsessed and I just kind of run whatever's left over on my brush across my forehead for some more healthy glow. Now complexion is pretty much done. We're going to move on to eyes and we're going to keep it true to my current favorites. And that is the matte eye popper from One Size Beauty. This is the shade Battle Ready. I think they're back in stock because the last time I checked to link it, they were back in stock. So hopefully they're still back in stock. I know that they were out of stock for a minute when I first purchased them. They were half off for a very limited time at Sephora. And uh, I feel like everyone kind of bought them up. But so I'm going to put this all over the eyelid. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, neutral, warm tone eye base that you could pretty much put almost anything on top of. Or you could wear it alone. So it's very versatile. It's very good for like a daily makeup look because it's kind of simple. And you can either play it up or just wear it by itself. So I'm just blending this on with a 212 brush from VK Beauty. Kind of blend it up and out. It's just stunning. That's the perfect, one of the perfect shades. A little more on this eye. It's going to blend it out the same way, kind of going up all across the crease, and then I'm just going to drag it out again towards my temple. You know, this is my favorite way to wear eyeshadows, especially on myself. It just makes my eyes look much bigger than they actually are. Okay. Eyes are prepped. Now, I have a new palette from Buxom that is so gorgeous. And I feel like no one's talking about this yet. Maybe it's just really brand new to the market and no one's really, um, like, played with it enough. But it's the Buxom... Forever Babe palette. Let me show you how beautiful this is. Like, I mean, can you see that? It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm not gonna lie, I have not played with any of the mid, the uh, middle shades yet, like this, these more purple blush tone shades, but I have played with both these neutral sides. You know, I'm a neutral girl. I can't help it. Oh, you guys, can you not rip things up while I'm filming? Thank you. Um, so let's do, kind of want to go for, you know what we're going to go for? I want to go for, it's called Own It Big. Let's do that. Okay, bear. And this officially might be the last day that my dogs film in the studio with me, so don't worry. They um, might need a break from that. 
Um, I'm going to dip into this beautiful light shade first. And using a Refer 28 brush. Just going to pack it. Right on top of my eyelid. Formulas in this palette are really beautiful. They're really well done. There's a bit of fallout, but it's nothing, nothing too bad. I would just suggest if you're going to do like more of a smoky eye with this palette, then do your eyes first so you don't have to worry about the fallout. But for me, since I'm doing more of a light eye, it's not a big deal. So pretty. So good for every day. It's like that classic eye makeup look that looks good on everyone, goes with anything, is easy. I'm gonna switch my brush to another refer brush. This is a refer 14 brush. And I just wanna take a little bit of that highlighting shade, this light matte shade, and bring that into the tear duct. Pretty. Nice and subtle. So you can see that fallout is pretty, I guess it's there. It's definitely there. Gorgeous. Very simple. Very pretty. Get a little bit of this fallout right here. Okay, now I have a really fun eyeliner to show you. I've showed you it a couple times in like reels and stuff like that. But this is from Valentino. They sent me this in PR. I'm always so excited to get Valentino Beauty sent to me in PR, like super grateful. It's a double-ended eyeliner. So there's a pencil on this end, which I'll actually use to tight line just a touch. And then on this end, there's a liquid liner. And it's a really great long lasting formula for the liquid. The black does tend to run just a touch, um, especially for, for me where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it a little bit in the, the water line, which things don't really have much of a chance to stay put there. But just tight lining first, right at the base of my eyelashes, just to make them look fuller and more dense. Okay. It's kind of like my first step. Now I'm gonna shake the formula and we're gonna use the liquid side. Let me get a small mirror because I need to kind of see up close for this. It's so pretty. It's nothing like a crisp black wing liner. Okay, one done. Now it's time to do the hard eye. Okay. As you know, this eye is much more, or actually is very hooded. This eye is not hooded at all, so it's always like a battle of 
making those both, taking both these eyes and trying to make them match and make making both those worlds collide, basically. So I always have to like really sew it down with this eye. Be a lot more intentional with the placement. Almost there. And as always, don't forget your eyeliner is our sisters. They're not twins, you know? Okay. Beautiful. Just absolutely love this formula. It is so good. Okay, so now that I brought out an eyeshadow primer, I'm sorry, a mascara primer. This has also been on heavy rotation for me the last week. I've been using this pretty much daily when I have the time, because you know, it is an extra step to throw into your makeup routine. So depending on your time, if you have a little bit more time or a little extra time, this is worth it in my opinion. And I'm not a big lash primer I, person. I never have been someone who's like, I have to have a lash primer in my routine until now. I really am enjoying this. I think it's a great formula. It's the Lancome Booster XL Lash Primer. So let's get these lashes primed. Okay, a little more on this side. It dries down very quickly, which is nice because you don't have to, you know, wait in between coats and wait too long. You still have to wait somewhat, but not too long between applying that and then going in and applying your mascara. Now for mascara, where is my favorite one I forgot to pull out? Oh, it's right in front of me, okay. And my, one of my favorites, no surprise here, I'm, I'm sure you're tired of seeing me use this, but I can't stop, it's so good. And I, I really am determined to try my best to use up one mascara and then move on to another because, you know, they go bad pretty quickly. They dry up qu pretty quickly if you let them lane, if you leave them laying around for too long. So the One Coat Wow from Huda Beauty. I feel like I'm nearing the end of this one where I'm, I'm, I can tell it's like slowly starting to run out. So... I'm doing what I set out to do, which is use one whole mascara before I move on to another one. Trying to anyway, I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to. So let's do the one coat while on top. One thing I will point out that I've noticed about this mascara since it is nearing the end of, of it running out and running low First of all, it's starting to get a little bit more dry, which is normal. That's very normal for a mascara once it's kind of on its way out. But I have noticed also it's clumping a little easier than it typically did in the in the beginning, like when it was fresh and new. So you have to be a little bit more mindful now, or I have to be more mindful now. Look, I just clumped this end. Let's see? but it does make my lashes extremely, extremely thick.
yeah, this is definitely, I probably have a couple days left of this one, to be honest. I might be pushing it right now. Okay, I'm completely skipping mascara on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go back to, actually, I'm not gonna go back to, I forgot to set my cream bronzer with the powder bronzer. So this has been, again, on rotation for me this week. This is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Natural Chocolate. So there's two different kinds. The other one I have in my professional makeup kit. This one is apparently made of 97% naturally derived ingredients, whereas the other one is obviously not. I have the shade Golden Cocoa, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's been in my bag this whole week, and I've been thoroughly enjoying it, so I had to include it in this video. I'm going to apply with another favorite. This is the 104 from BK Beauty. This is a go-to brush of mine for powder bronzer application, or really anything I want a soft application with. So even if it's like blush or um, pressed powder, this is a, a phenomenal brush for that kind of makeup application when you're wanting it to look more natural and soft. So I'm gonna buff this on top of that cream bronzer. Try to hold down my baby hairs in the meantime and my frizzy hairs. And then just a little bit more back here towards my ear. And then bring it down around my jaw. I don't go heavy with bronzer on my cheeks as much as I do blush. I like blush on my cheeks. Especially lately, it's been kind of like my, my go-to look. So what I always love to do, this is gonna be no surprise to see I'm gonna take a small pencil brush from, this one's just from Zoeva, it's a 223 Petite Eye Blender. Same bronzer, this is my my weekly thing. I always do, I, it's something I don't ever skip. I always put some form of shadow on my bottom lash line. It just rounds out my eyes, as you know, because I talk about this all the time. Makes my eyes look bigger in my opinion. And especially for me when I'm skipping mascara on the bottom lash line, I still want to have something there to kind of bring my eyes out and define them on the bottom lash line. But this is in a much more natural way than like, you know, applying an eyeliner there, which I obviously will define your eyes as well. But this is much more soft in my opinion and softer on my face. Okay, so just blending that back and forth. This is honestly one of my favorite makeup looks. It's just classic. Now I recently, we're gonna skip to lips now because we're almost done. Recently, I went back to my favorite lipsticks, all my favorites, especially like the ones I shared um, back in April when I did my 30 days of my favorite, my personal favorite lipsticks, that whole series I did on Instagram. I also posted it on uh, YouTube shorts too. But I went back to my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks because they are just phenomenal. They're just a classic go-to. This one in particular is probably by far my favorite for like an everyday wear. This is Velvet Fawn. It's just stunning. It's just absolutely, positively stunning. Now, I go between pairing this with either a deeper liner, like Cool Brown has been a favorite of mine ever since one of my followers told me I needed to get this, so I picked it up because of them. But I also like to pair with Deep Taupe, and I think I'm gonna go for Deep Taupe this time, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let me just sharpen that eye. This combo is perfect, absolutely perfect. So let's get Deep Taupe on these lips.
And then I just blend it out a little bit. I'm just grab my concealer brush and just get this edge. It's a great way to clean up your lip liner in case you mess up like I did. Because I keep trying to talk and line my lips at the same time. Same technique, I'm going to just blend out the top a little bit too. Just to soften it. There we go. Very pretty. Are you ready for, vel for Velvet Fawn? Because it is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's very matte. Which I love a matte lip. I'm all about a matte lip. I've loved matte lips since the beginning of me doing makeup. I like to kind of press it on and blend it on. Oh, it's just, it's just stunning. I can go on about this lipstick and I'm just going to try not to. But that is Velvet Fawn. Now I'm going to set my makeup another go-to of mine from this week and well just in general i've been using this for a little while now since they sent it to me you know i love this brand lys i think they have phenomenal products like it just if you can try something from this brand either the contour stick or the bronzer stick the um concealers the mascara the setting spray they have great products so this is the lys natural finish skin loyalty it's a blur plus mattifying plus setting spray so it's a setting spray um shake it up though first and let's get this makeup nice and set. Has a really good fine like mister to it. So, you know, I love that. I'm all about any setting spray that doesn't attack your face with like an aggressive amount of water. But this is the look. This is the Nikki Uncut look. I hope you enjoy this whole process. This was quite a process. I really did a look for you. Um, that just involved a lot of blending and technique and stuff like that. So hopefully this wasn't too long to watch the entire process. I hope you enjoyed it either way. I love this makeup look. This is like a classic Nikki look for me. Um, all the comment or all the comments, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this look. All of the products will be linked and listed below in case you missed any of them. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all the things I know they're kind of tedious to do sometimes but they do really help out this channel and they help me just keep making videos for you all which you know I love to do so this is the look I'll give you a little side by side I hope you enjoyed it I love seeing you guys thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you on the next Nikki Uncut bye